क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स विल डू नाउ वन क्वेश्चन वेर वी आर रिक्वायर टू प्रिपेयर वर्टिकल बैलेंस शीट एंड कैलकुलेट फ्यू रेशियोज इन रेशियो एनालिसिस चैप्टर let us go through the question following figures have been extracted from the books of wudu limited land and building we are required to mark here items for preparation of vertical balance sheet land and building it will be part of fixed asset plant and machinery fixed asset equity capital will be part of share capital reference capital it will be part of share capital stock current asset debtors current asset cash and bank balance current asset miscellaneous current asset miscellaneous current asset current asset profit and loss account reserves and surplus general reserve reserves and surplus sundry creditors current liability bills payable current liability miscellaneous current liabilities current liabilities debenture it will be part of borrowed funds with this given details we are required to prepare vertical balance sheet first first part of the balance sheet will be sources of funds in sources of fund first item we have shareholders fund in shareholders fund we have first item share capital here we have equity capital 5 lakhs preference capital 2 lakhs equity 5 lakhs preference 2 lakhs we'll be taking total of this equity plus preference total capital is 7 lakhs to this we are required to add reserves and surplus in reserves and surplus we have profit and loss account 2 lakhs general reserve 1 lakh there are no fictitious assets otherwise we will be deducting fictitious asset from reserves and surplus total of reserves and surplus 3 lakhs share capital 7 lakhs reserves and surplus 3 lakhs total amount is 10 lakhs this is transferred in third column that is total of shareholders fund is 10 lakhs next we have borrowed funds now in case of borrowed funds we have only debentures 4 lakhs it will be part of <clears throat> it will be part of secured loan debentures it is a single item therefore directly will be recording this in 
थर्ड कॉलम वी गॉट शेयर होल्डर्स फंड टेन लैक्स बोरोड फंड फोर लैक्स वी कैन एड दीज टू टू अराइव एट अमाउंट ऑफ कैपिटल एम्प्लॉयड This is the first part of balance sheet. We got total capital employed fourteen lakhs. Second part of balance sheet application of funds. There first we have fixed assets. In case of fixed assets, we have land and building six lakhs, plant and machinery five lakhs. so total fixed assets we have 11 lakhs next item comes long term investments in this question there are no long term investments next we have working capital there we are required to take first current assets we have current asset stock debtors cash bank miscellaneous current assets stock 2 lakh 40000 debtors 2 lakh कैश बैंक बैलेंस फिफ्टी फाइव थाउजेंड मिसलिनियस करंट एसेट्स फाइव थाउजेंड वी कैन टेक टोटल ऑफ ऑल करंट एसेट्स विच कम्स टू फाइव लैक्स less current liabilities we have current liabilities sundry creditors bills payable and miscellaneous current liabilities sundry creditors 80000 bills payable 60000 miscellaneous current liabilities 60000 we can take total of this it comes to 2 lakhs total current asset 5 lakhs current liabilities 2 lakhs so we'll subtract current liabilities from current assets so working capital we got rupees 3 lakhs this will be added to fixed asset 11 lakhs so total we got 14 lakhs first part of balance sheet was sources of funds total was 14 lakhs second part application of funds here also we got total 14 lakhs first part of the question rearrange above figures in vertical form we have done second part it says calculate 
debt equity ratio proprietary ratio and capital gearing ratio debt equity ratio borrowed fund divided by proprietor's fund shareholders fund 10 lakhs borrowed fund 4 lakhs shareholder fund means proprietor's fund so we have debt equity ratio 0.4 is to 1 after debt equity ratio proprietary ratio formula is proprietary fund proprietor's fund divided by total assets multiplied by 100 shareholders fund proprietor's fund we have 10 lakhs total assets that is fixed assets plus current assets 5 lakhs 10 11 lakhs plus 5 lakhs fixed assets 11 lakhs current asset 5 lakhs proprietary ratio 62.5% next is capital gearing ratio capital gearing ratio capital with fixed income divided by capital not having fixed income here preference share capital rate of dividend is fixed debenture rate of interest is fixed so those will be capital or securities having fixed income preference share capital 2 lakhs debentures 4 lakhs divided by divided by equity share capital 5 lakhs profit and loss account 2 lakhs general reserve 1 lakh six lakh divided by 8 lakh Zero point seventy five is to one. That is our capital gearing ratio. In this question, we have learned how to prepare vertical balance sheet with details given and calculation of some of the ratios. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to our channel Ikeda. Thank you.